Oh, what a way to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. This looks great. We have to eat this quickly because we've got to leave in 10 minutes. Good morning from Cash. Right now, we are pretty much right at the southern tip of Turkey and this morning Jeremy and I are gonna go scuba diving because apparently Cash is the best place in all of Turkey to go scuba diving and you can see sea turtles. I'm very excited I haven't scuba dived in a while so you may know I'm a rescue diver so for me it will just be a fun dive. Jeremy has never tried it before so it's gonna be a discovery dive. Uh, we're just on our way to the dive shop right now which is called Nautilus or Nautilus Nautilus. We're getting a taxi into town. Look at this. This is the view from the harbour in Cash. Absolutely stunning. And so we've got all the dive boats lined up side by side, which gives me confidence that it's going to be good diving. The fact that there is so many dive boats here and we are this one, Nautilus. We've gone with these just because the hostel that we're staying at recommended them. And so that's pretty much it. Hello. Morning. I forgot to bring my rescue diver qualification. I wonder if they'll check. We've just got on the boat. We've just signed our lives away and we're very happy to see that Ollie made it this morning. Ollie is notorious for taking a bit of time in the morning. So we are very happy to see him. Yeah, we've just been told that we can chill here on the front of the boat. We haven't been taken through any of the equipment or anything yet. I'm wondering if we'll set sail before that happens. I don't really know. I feel like with every diving experience I have, it's always like a little bit different in their operations. But I'm so excited. The weather is beautiful. And actually this is the first place that we've come in Turkey where we've woken up like kind of early in the morning and it's been t-shirt weather. Like it's actually been warm and I haven't been shivering in the morning, which is glorious in the off season but what they were telling us is that right now is right at the end of the season so pretty much like next week that I don't think they're going to be running these trips anymore so we're very lucky to get it just in time I hope the water's not too cold as well shallow place which is the back side of the boat here and then we just uh, going down to the shallow place maximum 10 meters first and after that we just keep continue diving on 10 15 and 20 so after 20 we just keep continue diving in 20 and then we just found for the entry of the tunnel which is on this place okay so now we just go in inside of the tunnel and after that we just go inside of the tunnel like that and we just spend the time like five minutes maybe maximum and after that we just go outside of the channel and there's a really nice wall over there over there and then we just keep continue diving on the wall side and the maximum depth is 35 meters there's a lot of current so i need to grab the line as soon as i jump in First dive, done. Oh, that first dive was great. 
but very, very chilly. I was so, so grateful to have the hood. I think that really, really helped. It was so cool to see so many lionfish. Ollie went in as a discovery diver and saw a turtle at like five meters. I didn't see a turtle. We went through the tunnel and that was really cool. The water clarity was gorgeous. Yeah, it was a really nice relaxing dive and we've got another one in one hour. So maybe there's an opportunity for me to see a turtle as well. about the groupers because when they see your fingers they just thinking about the, you just feed them okay uh -huh. so that's what they just attack oh no <laughs> do not, do not show them the, the hands okay so our next diving spot is just over there obviously you can't see much from the, the surface but underneath that's where all the underworld happens Ready to go. Oh, harbour now it's 2 30 which is a good time it's still warm outside i don't know about the boys but i am starving so i'm hoping that our next point of call is going to be somewhere to eat food in the middle of cash and i guess that'll be our first time looking around the town as well because we arrived so late last night so let's go and explore the town of cash okay leaving the boat so that is 275 lira for the discovery dive which is about like 23 pounds and for me to do two fun dives was 500 lira which is about 40 to 45 pounds just really really cheap i think well like one of the cheaper dives that i've ever done like if you were to do that in like a proper western country you'd be paying like 100 pounds for that so yeah, I'd say it's a pretty good price. We were diving with Nautilus. Nautilus diving. Highly recommend. Very professional. Good equipment. Good instructors. I felt very looked after. All around good experience. What a great way to spend our morning. Although Cash is known to be Turkey's number one scuba diving destination, the town actually has loads more to offer. For this, it's a very popular holiday destination for tourists. The centre itself has beautiful cobbled streets with cute shops, cafes and restaurants and the town is surrounded by nature with towering mountains close by, plenty of beaches to choose from and there is also some ancient ruins to explore as well. Yes, I've got myself a nice big pasta, exactly what I wanted, yes. And I also ordered a massive plate of crispy calamari because today is a treat. Yeah, that's cute. 
So whilst in cash, we are staying at a hostel called Canbo Camp. I believe it's somewhere there where you can do camping. And as far as I'm aware, it is the kind of most popular hostel to stay in in cash. It is about one and a half to two kilometers outside of the city center, but it only costs less than two euros for a taxi in and out. So it's not so bad. It's right on the waterfront. And I'll just give you a little bit of a tour just so you can get the vibe of this place. It's really cool. It's super rustic very different from the villa we were just staying at but in a good way it feels nice it feels just nice to kind of like get out of what feels like a city and just get into the rustic nature a little bit more All right, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you. It's 5.40, uh, the sun is close to setting, so we've set off a little bit late, but we are about to go off for a run. It was actually Jeremy's idea this time, which is great, because I've been trying to convince him to come yeah. with me for a run for a long, long time. Finally happening. I hope it's not too hilly. Our plan is to kind of run around the peninsula, and Jeremy has like a CrossFit background, so he also wants to do a bit of like, you know, fitnessy workout stuff as well. We'll see how we go, especially see how much we can get done before it gets dark. Do we go this way? Are you not are you sure you don't just... I don't know if we can go this way. We go along here? Yeah. Yeah, do you think we go along here? Okay, I'm gonna set my watch for a outdoor run. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> we're gonna be lost in 10 seconds. I think I feel like we're about to walk into a resort and it's gonna be a dead end. I don't know. I also have never run with my GoPro before, so this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> for fuck's sake. When you run with Jeremy for the first time and he's just making me laugh. This is not good, Jeremy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run out of steam very early. Oh, are you finished? Are you finished? Are you finished this early? <laughs> Why are you are accelerating? <laughs> We're approaching another hill. I'm not good with these hills. <laughs> if it's like really shallow, I might tackle it, but if it's steep. I'm just gonna walk. But look at this. Ah, run, Jeremy, run. Should we go there? Yeah. Okay. So I think this is the beach on the other side of the peninsula, which is where Jeremy had in mind to run to. So it was 3.3 kilometers to get to here. Well, it was actually supposed to be 2.7. But we did go the wrong way, so we had to backtrack, and that's why it ended up being 3.3. <laughs> Everyone's leaving now. I guess because the sun's already set. We're a bit late leaving today. Oh, wow. I don't know, I feel like kind of going for a dip. I mean, I am in my swim gear, but I could actually... Really? Should we take our shoes and socks off and uh, go for a dip up to our knees? We can do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. You, you keep your socks. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my shorts on because I've only got pants on underneath this. <laughs> YouTube doesn't need to see my underwear. Not today. That's my only fans. Kidding. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. It's so clear. What, and get wet? And swim back in completely wet clothes? Is that what your plan was? Okay, he's convinced me to swim. Oh, you're already swimming. Do I take my... You can, it's, it's like a bikini. I guess it's like a bikini. I'm censoring this YouTube. Sorry, you're not seeing my pants. Not today. Whoa. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> it's very refreshing. Let's take a taxi to go back. Oh, you want to? <laughs> no. No, we can run. 
we have to do a walkout. Okay, we're back in our clothes. You can see how my sports bra has made my top soak through. In fact, I don't know if you can see because I can, I think it's quite dark on the GoPro. The moon is out. Luckily, I believe the road that we're running on to go back is all lit up, which means that it's actually quite an ideal place to run after dark. The biggest concern, I guess, is just not getting bitten by mozzies. I didn't put on any mozzie spray. But anyway, I'm gonna resume the run and let's go. Cool thing about running is also you get to explore the area. There's a bar out there playing live music and it seems like a really good vibe. So I guess what we'll do is get back to the hostel, shower up and then head out there. Hopefully it's still a good vibe in like an hour's time. Boy, feels good to run even if I am but knackered. this little vlogging cache. Honestly, I really wish we stayed longer. We only booked two nights and that was a regret, but hey ho, we live and we learn. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.